This is a brief overview of the ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia portion of the pulseless arrest tutorial, which is seen on richacls.com. Here is the full pulseless arrest algorithm, which contains all the pulseless rhythms, ventricular fibrillation, ventricular tachycardia, and a systole PEA. There are two main parts to this algorithm. The ventricular tachycardia fibrillation side, which can be fixed with the fibrillation, and the asystole PEA side, which requires therapy other than defibrillation. The tutorial we are reviewing in this video is a brief overview of one of the teaching tutorials at richacls.com. The asystole PEA side is covered in a separate tutorial at the website. Now we're going to listen to the narration on one of the tutorial slides explain the basics of ventricular fibrillation ventricular tachycardia algorithm. This page will briefly discuss the ventricular fibrillation ventricular tachycardia branch of the pulseless arrest algorithm. Ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia are the only rhythms included in this branch. Keep in mind, ventricular tachycardia may or may not have a pulse. This algorithm only deals with pulseless ventricular tachycardia. The scenario starts with a victim found collapsed and unresponsive. BLS protocols are followed until a defibrillator arrives. Here the defibrillator is connected and the rhythm is checked. Since this scenario is pulseless ventricular fibrillation or pulseless ventricular tachycardia, the victim is shocked and CPR resumed. If the victim is not shockable, a systole or some kind of coordinated rhythm, then we follow over to box 12. Next we see the repeating units for therapy, each with a rhythm check, charge shock, medication delivery, and CPR. If there is no change in the rhythm, then this therapy repeats until the code is ended or the medications change. If there is a change in rhythm, we branch off from this repeating formula. On the next page, we'll learn a technique for organizing the therapies delivered here called repeating icon units. That is the end of this tutorial overview. The repeating icon unit concept is part of the PEG learning system, a memory method used at richacls.com to commit algorithms to memory. You can see this and other videos by searching richacls.